Hi, I'm Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV7. You're watching a program called Conversations with Fred. Each week, we have different people come on, and they talk about events going on in the community, things that can help you, and places where you can go and do things, like they're going to have a first Friday in Centerville. There's going to be homecoming parades at the high school. Well, today, we're going to hear from Rick and the Arts Council. I'll have you uh, talk to him or listen to him in a couple minutes. Rick's going to tell you about all the neat things the Queen Anne's County Arts Council does for you for the community and you're going to be pleasantly surprised like I was when I went about three weeks ago and watched what the teachers are doing. Rick, how about, thank you for coming to the program first of all, My how pleasure. about introduce yourself to the community here and uh, everyone knows you already but that's just in case they don't. Sure, um, Rick Stripmatter, um, I, uh, I'm ED at the uh, Center for the Arts, Arts Council and um, my background is uh, I've been a professional musician for... You're, you're modest. You're a bit of a renaissance man, according to George Harvey. Music, right? Graphic arts. You I'll ride with brag, that. Brag, brag, with that. brag yeah. all you... I mean, we, you and I were talking before you we went on. Name me the instruments you play, or instrument. Uh, my main instrument is guitar. I played lead guitar in the 80s in the hair bands and... Uh, Wrote music, correct? I, yeah, I wrote music. Oh, right. Still yeah. write music. Okay. Um, I, uh, I've got about... Uh, I think I've published uh, eight CDs. Have you really? Uh, my last CD, my ninth, uh, which is called Chasing the Shiny. The one you gave me, I believe. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So, Excellent. So there's a plug. Right? There you go. No, hey, yeah, look at right. it. I, I recommend you go out and buy it. I got mine free, so <laughs> I got it made. Did you like it? I'm very, uh, look at it. Anytime someone gives me free music and a local talent, exactly. I love it. Right, I love right. it. Yeah, what are you going to say? Um, so, um, anyway, that was. Um, for years, I wrote music Music was your life, yes? Well, music no. and also graphic design, okay. illustration. How did you um, get the, I mean, two wonderful fields, how did they mix? I think if you start really young, you mm -hmm. know, with both, they just kind of become... It's a natural, right, kind of your you breathing. Do, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. And you do, you do more one more one than the other, depending on where your interest lies or, you know, the opportunities that present themselves. Um, I've also uh, taught grad and undergrad for about 14 years. Oh, wow. Locally or other places? Uh, in Arundel or? Community and okay. uh, okay. Baltimore, University of Baltimore. Oh, great. And that was also graphic design, illustration, uh, film, you know. Now, do you have your own graphic? Uh, I went, now, if I'm wrong, please tell me. Everyone tells me, blame it on Fred, I'm always wrong. When I went to the Arts Council to see the teachers event, which we'll talk about in a bit, right. I believe you had some of your work on the wall. Am I correct? The back wall? Yes. Uh, is that your own company? or what? It's beautiful stuff. Well, it's actually, that work is done... Um, in conjunction with the Arts Council, okay. but I do have my own company. Okay, uh, please, what is it? Uh, uh, Blackpool Design. Uh, and that's a local small. company or uh, it, websites? It's, it's local. It's gotten a lot smaller since I've taken on this job. Okay. And, um, but yeah, I've done design work. I've done uh, graphic design, industrial design, interior design, illustration for uh, most of my work in life. Is there a website to look at some of your stuff or to get yeah, in touch with you? Yeah. Please, if you know it, plug it. you go to uh, blackpooldesign.com, okay. you will find me. Okay. Now, are you lo I'm not a local. I was born and raised in Montgomery County. Are you local, educated locally, or what? Uh, I grew up in uh, Bel Air, Maryland. Okay. And uh, Bel Air High School. I went to Frostburg for two years, okay. and I went to the Art Institute in Cleveland, five years. Oh, school. excellent, excellent. Graduated from there, stayed in, stayed in Cleveland for about 10 years. Okay. And worked at the... You and Howard the Duck, isn't he? Isn't that where Howard the... Remember that movie, that terrible movie, Howard the Duck? Howard the Duck and I, we, we, we've... I've spent many a night drinking with him. <laughs> at local bars Good for you. Right. Um, so, yeah, I, woke, I worked at the Natural History Museum as an exhibits designer. Okay. Um, and I worked at a couple of the ad agencies when I got out of school. In Cleveland. This is in Cleveland. Cleveland. In Cleveland, yeah. Jake yeah. by the lake, and um, my son and I, when the stadium Indians, and they're no longer the Indians, a Cleveland baseball team. Right. When that, that stadium, love it. It's the only stadium I've ever been to, I think, that surpasses what we have in Baltimore. That's a lovely stadium. It's a great stadium. And a great run I had one morning. I ran around downtown Cleveland. Is there a vocational high school that teaches uh, aviation courses right on the water? 
Okay. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah it's not fair. right. It's been so long. Well, Cleveland's a neat <laughs> town. You've got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I know. Right I know. down the road in Canton, it's, Ohio, you got the Football Hall of Fame. It's an exceptional town. Oh, it is. And, yeah. it, and, I, mean, and I got married there. I bought a house there. Okay. You know, it was... Um, Neither of which lasted, but that's another story altogether. <laughs> okay, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but uh, it's a great town. It's an awesome town. Uh, played in a lot of bands there. And okay. And Besides the Hall of Fame, is Cleveland a good music town? I don't know. So I'm awesome. I plead my interest. Oh, it is. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Small clubs, big clubs, good venues? Both. Or? Oh, both. both. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I didn't know. I know the... Uh, I guess everyone plugs in the Cleveland... Once a year, anyway, for the Hall of Fame nominees, and they right. have that wonderful ceremony. Right. Oh, yeah, right. right and right. Uh, so, but it is Cleveland's a good music town. It's, a, it? it's a great music town. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cleveland's come a long way. You know, it used to get. Um, you know, Baltimore used to get bashed. Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland the the Great Lakes are on yeah, fire right. in Cleveland. It's like I'm always moving into into a town that you know like <laughs> nobody likes. And, and um, but. Uh, both of those towns, both Cleveland and Baltimore. So Vibrant Baltimore towns. Baltimore for years. Yeah. I loved that town. Okay. Baltimore was awesome. Now, what got you to center? The job? Or you were here before the job? The house. We oh, were house. Looking, yeah, we were looking to buy another house. And um, I was online. And all of a sudden, I found the house I was looking at $100,000 cheaper. And I'm going... In Santa Barbara. What's going on? Wow. What's, you know, that was before the current boom. We now you can yeah. double your price in your house. Right, <laughs> right, right. And um, I was like, I t talked to my, you know, my present wife, and I was like, check this out. <laughs> it's like a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Let's go to Santa Cruz. Yeah, it's on the eastern shore, and I'm going. Oh, <laughs> that explained move. it. Yeah, oh, yeah. So we did. The quality yeah. of life is better. What, what, what are the bad things? Yeah, I love it over here. Good, good. Yeah. Now you told me uh, we won't go to much depth. You, you were singing, but you had a little, you had a little voice concerns. You have some problems. Are you able? Do you still? I know you and George are planning. Are you talked about it? Are you still doing music a lot? Or yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, That's still yeah. a major part of your life. You know what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get back into. Uh, into a band. Oh, okay. You know, I'm trying to take the music on the CD. Okay. And, um, you know, I've gotten to a point now where I can sing a little bit longer than 10 minutes oh, before my voice excellent. gives out. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> and, um, and I actually been talking about George is interested in doing it with me. So hey, the awesome. next time you come here, we'll probably have you guys play as a little music. There you go. We'll now, let's, let's shift gears a little bit. Queen Anne's County Arts Council. Now, right. many people know about it. There's probably too many people who don't know about it. How about give us a little one -on Arts Council one-on-one, -on -one, where it is, what it does, how we can get involved, that type of thing. Well, it's in downtown Centerville. Okay. It's uh, 206 South Commerce Street. Easy to get to. And uh, it's an old Methodist church that's gone through a bunch of different, um, I mean, it's been a number of things. It's a great old building. It's a great facility, I think. I absolutely love it, and um, it's a great gallery space. Um, we do... Uh, you know, what happens there? People are going to say, all right, nice, cool place. E there's parking, easy to get to. There's restaurants up the street. That I can get coffee up the street. What do, what do we do there? Well, you know, before the pandemic, <laughs> it's like pre-pandemic. I was going to say, um, the, the new date will be 2021 a, a P or B, something, right, yes. Right, Yeah, it would be P P. And right. something. Yeah. Right. Um, and we still do this. We really haven't stopped. We do uh, major exhibitions, small exhibitions. Mm -hmm. We do concerts. We have okay. coffee houses. Mm -hmm. We do plays. We have classes and workshops. Um, we have, you know, I'm, I know I'm leaving something out. That's okay. Well, let me ask say, you about a couple yeah. of these. I had the pleasure... I uh, had Mike Bell here, and you guys filmed. He's awesome. yeah, yeah, you yeah, and Mike uh, oh Mike. Friends. You know what I like about Mike? First of all, he's not from New York; he's from New Jersey. Right. But he's a New Yorker. He's got the gold chains. He does. He's got the black suit that shines. Right. Comes up in a big black Cadillac. Fred, I'm going to make you a deal you can't turn down. You're right. Right. And he does a. Right. Tell us about the wonderful art display. I, I'm not sure whether it's over yet or not. I think it's, it's still, still going on. Still going on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us about yeah. this. Is who doing what? All right, so uh, Michael and I get together for lunches occasionally. We were just talking, you know, and I, I said, you know, um, when I was at Anne Arundel, they, they did, a, they had like a faculty show. Okay, you know? now I know where the idea came from. Yeah, good, and, good. And, and Michael said, he goes, 
he was, why don't we do one in Queen Anne? So mm-hmm. that's awesome. You oh, know? Good. The man is always filled with just And he's got a lot of, that, that yeah. seat was jumping off the floor when he was here. A lot of energy. Do you know what? The only issue I have with Michael is that I can usually, the energy, I can never keep up with him. He always <laughs> is like, you know, the man. And he is, likes the Yankees. And he likes the Giants. And he's right. Like, yeah. 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 I, it's, <clears throat> yeah. But, um. Well, I was impressed. Now, you helped me. I, uh, I like to, I don't know about anything about any of the arts as much as I should say. I was impressed. Here are my favorites. One person to me I, in my, is almost a, the, the one with the swirls, the concentric circles, almost like Van Gogh colors. That I fell in love with. And then Michael's horse hoofs were kind of interesting. Right. Why don't you describe right. a little bit for the audience, what's, what do the teachers do? Sure, that swirly one that you were talking about, it's almost like a, not a triptych, but the three definitely go together. Mm-hmm. And it looks like... Uh, you know, it looks like Van Gogh on steroids. Yeah, it does, know? doesn't it? Yeah. And it was, it was, it was fun. I thought he and Ken Kesey must be soulmates up in heaven, and they said, <laughs> hey, here's a brush, take some of my stuff, and let's see what you come up with. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, well, the import- yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry. Th- there's just some really remarkable work. And, then, and the good news is it's free. It's free. It's always free. You can just walk. I mean, we just walked in. It was between 11 and 4, I think, and sure. parked right on the street. Walked in the door, and the nice thing is, it's not like you have to spend hours there. Right. You can spend easily under a half an hour and view some of the sculpture, the painting. Some of these, these, these are, oh, yeah. these are, yeah, yeah. these are the people teaching your children, and the work is really good. I know, you know, and I think a lot of times we forget. I know I did when I was a kid and I was in high school that. You know, our teachers, they did more than just teach. Yeah. You know, they They're were artists. biologists. They were artists. They were, artists. Yeah. they were musicians, right? So that's the idea, is to bring them to the forefront and really show what they do. And I thought it was nice. Again, we'll pick on Mike again. Here's your supervisor of art and music and libraries and 10 other programs. Right. He had this wonderful uh, horse hoof thing, probably longer than this TV. It was really Wasn't that cool? Yeah. And it sits right in the middle right. and it just grabs you. And it yeah. was, he did a good job. It was he did. really good. He did. Now, now talk, okay, so there, you, we've, art exhibits, we know you have. Right. Now you used to have, again, we're gonna have to apologize this pre-pandemic talk, but there was a Tuesday coffee house type thing. What was, tell us about that. Um, that would, uh, you know, you think about coffee houses and a lot of times you think about musicians coming yes, in and yes. playing. The idea behind this coffee house was to bring writers and poets in. Oh, okay. And um, so there was a small collective, a small group of people, and it was pretty consistent from month to month, and they would come in and read. Okay. Oh, live readings right on stage. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I loved it. It was just awesome. In fact, I did one with a friend of mine up on stage. We did like a small excerpt from a play. Oh, excellent. now this was every Tuesday for a while, or one every, Tuesday a month? One or? Tuesday a month, okay. yeah, and we're definitely going to get back. Good, and this is, this is like Broadway, went dark for a while, it still is, right? The curtain came down because of the, excuse me, pandemic. Right. But hopefully it will come back up. Yeah, was, cool. was there a charge for that, or a nominal fee, or nothing? No, it's free. Uh, you just come into, were there beverage? I know you, you have beverages there, were the beverages being served? Or? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. We usually serve wine and maybe okay. some food. And you know, the one thing about um, one thing about the arts council is when we do an exhibition or when we have some type of, of event, you know, because I know how hard it is to bring people out. Sure. So we always make sure, and it's been difficult with the pandemic. Real difficult, actually. Sure. But we always have um, food and booze because sure. that's why people come, right? Yeah. I mean, I would like to say it's just for the art or just for the music, for the readings, but I've learned in 74 years, when I was a PTA president, a union president, anything I've run, if I have adult beverages and if I have snacks, I can get a crowd. Right. (laughs) And children sometimes. Yeah. We actually have um, uh, two or three people who do our food spreads. Okay. And it's fantastic it's nice it's yeah. fabulous it's a feast i mean it's just some of some of the the, the events have had just these spreads that Knock took up three tables <laughs> just like fabulous food you Good know stuff. Yeah. Uh, michael let's just continue we've talked about art exhibits we've talked about live readings you said you had plays in the past on that you have a nice stage there right what type of plays did you have and how did that go uh they were kind of uh I would say small plays. Okay, like local renderings or? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah right. Okay. 
the last one we had was um, Love Letters. Okay. And it was a two-person play. And so very intimate, very small. Yeah. yeah okay. We had a good-sized crowd. Um, we've had um, uh, Churchill Theater. Oh, they did, Sheila Grasso uh, and the company came down, or yeah, some of them. Okay. Yeah, they did 33 variations. They've actually. got a big gala coming up, so I can't wait. I, I don't know whether you're going to it or not. Uh, sometime uh, in October, okay. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, continue. And um, we also had the um, Shakespeare group. Okay, uh, oh, they came down. They would, well, they would practice. Oh, they'd practice in the gallery. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so there's a lot going on. Now, as we look at two things, I just had an educator on before you, he, uh, Bob Willis, a wonderful job at Queen Anne's County High School. He's beginning to see signs that, hey, we're getting back to normal. A couple bumps. Art Council, do you see October, like Churchill Theaters having a gala in October, right. the curtains going up in November. Right. Is the Arts Council reawakening in terms of maybe we're back, and in terms of events? Are we seeing, are we seeing more events coming up? Sure. What sure. do we got coming up? We'll give you um, the big one is um, we have Maureen Bannon. Okay. Uh, she's a painter. It's painting right. of Poland. She lived in Poland for years. Oh, wow. Did a lot of painting, beautiful stuff. And October 16th is the... So that's only two weeks away. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. And so that's our, you know, the, the faculty show was a major, major show. And a wonderful event. Uh, this show is going to be a major show. And then we're... Uh, the events that we didn't do last year that we usually do, we are going to try and do those. We okay. actually we are going to do those, but okay. they're really going to be heavily sort of modern. Yes, because you're going to have you're going to mass considerations, just in, like everybody's going yeah, yeah. through, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Tell me, let's go back to our uh, Polish artist uh, opening up in what did I say, 14, 16 days or 15 days. Or it'll be the same thing, 11 to 4. Are you going to have a special opening? Or, we are going to have a, a special bit. opening. It's. Uh, Four to six, I believe. It's okay. an early opening. Okay. Um, I don't know about the food yet That's because okay. we never really know. But if they want to, uh, we're going to give out phone numbers and websites. They can go online and get the uh, sure. mail it down. Absolutely. Okay. We do, you know, mail chimps. We do all kinds of email blasts and Facebook okay. and you know Instagram, whatever. So it's easy to find. So like Broadway, your curtain's beginning to come back up. Yes. We had the teachers' art show. We're going to have this wonderful art show coming up. Anything at beyond malls, that plan? Yeah, at the malls, we have a uh, Christmas concert okay. with uh, Steph Skajari, and that's coming up in December. Is that the pianist in town here? Yeah. Yeah, he's my neighbor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's great. Oh, he is he's great. awesome. Yeah. He and Dick Durham used to do a duet together all the right. time on piano. They right. were fantastic. Yes. Well, it's kind of an annual thing. This will be the second. Oh, he comes here. Time. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. And, um, and after that, we have Small Works. We're going to do Small Works this year, this Great. last year. We have Art East, which is a major installation. A lot of the uh, artists from Kifa and okay. uh, Ken Island. Oh, wow. Um, so the, and the, a myriad of, you know. It's yeah. beginning, the wheels are beginning to go again. Oh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, like yeah. Mr. Willis and the educators, we don't go backwards. Hopefully, we can get through this. And, uh, it's what we do. Okay. Now, if yeah. someone's watching this and say, hey, you got a lot of neat stuff going on. Can they join? What, 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 as an arts, do you want them to become arts council members? Tell us, how do we get involved with it? Sure. Uh, to become a member is really inexpensive. It's like 25 bucks, you know. Okay. And, um, and that entitles you to what? All events, a newsletter or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just, uh, you know, we, we keep you uh, updated informed on of what's, what's going coming. on. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and if you stop in, we'll. They sign you right up on the spot. Yeah, right. Can you do it on the website also? Yep. Do you know the website off the top of your head? Yeah, uh, it's uh, uh, Queen Anne's County, Queen Anne's County Arts dot com. Okay, and if not, they can type up Queen Anne's County Arts Council. Something's going to pop. If not, they can call me, and I'm going to walk you over there. Okay. Right. Oh, it should be good. Why am I my drawing a blank? Don't worry about it. Right. Anybody in, that I interview, just by looking at my face, they draw a blank, or they want to draw a blank. Right. Um, do you need volunteers, workers? Or if an artist is out there saying, hey, you know, I could use some support and stuff. Well, I have an incredible staff. Okay. Fantastic staff. I have um, Allison, who's the office manager, coordinator. We work great together. I have a, 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 a director of development, part-time, fabulous. Okay. I have a, a part-time accountant. Fabulous. The four of us do, you know, there's places where you've worked and, you know, the 
whatever people didn't get along. No, chemistry yeah. is bad. This, this is a nice... Chemistry is perfect. I'm good, jinx good. It, but yeah, good. It's no, good. it's okay. It's going to work out. But good. if you, you can join... Okay. You can join. If, uh, this would be benefit will, we you will by take your first child. But okay. Okay. Twenty five dollars. Oh, come on, that's a good right. deal. Uh, right. Is is there? Are you constantly emailed and newslettered in terms of events and stuff? To me, that's the biggest thing. I drive by you, and you have that uh, sandwich board. I call it out front. Right. And very often, I'm going. You know, what? Are, what? Are, that's coming. Oh, it's tonight. Okay. Yeah. Right. So the, right. one of the benefits of membership is you're constantly told, "Hey, come on, two weeks from tonight, we've got an art show." We, and when we get back to the Tuesdays or whatever. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, we're constantly updating people. We don't a, leave them alone. Now, do you still do the thing? You used to have a wonderful event, uh, high tea. You used to have a, a county commission, as I did. I, I don't know. I think they picked me up to clean up the trash or something. We all dressed up, and we served a high tea. Do we still do that anymore? That was fun. We've done If it, can we do it in the future, yeah. We did it we did it two, three years before oh. the pandemic. Okay. We had to stop. This year we are doing it again. That was more I hey, if know. you need someone to serve tea, I want you to know. Everybody watching is a witness. On. I'm like, we on. had it was me, I was fortunate with some of the county commissioners. I think the sheriff was there. You guys you did you guys did such an awesome job. And it was fun. We had right. bow ties on, I think, and white uh -huh. shirts and right. black pants. We had to dress up. Yeah. And the uh, the people being served loved it. And yeah. we had more fun. I mean, Phil Duman, our county commissioner, walking by with a tray of tea, and people were making the sign of the cross because they knew they were going to get hit, right? right. You know, right. Phil was very athletic, and he handled it well. So that one might be back on the agenda. Yeah, it's going to be back. We don't know what it's going to look like. You know, okay. we may have to do it in like a, like a rotation or like a, yeah. you know, we'll do one Six at feet one o'clock and, yeah. and one at uh, three o'clock sure. or something sure. like that. And, you well, know. We're all, even the art world is adjusting. I mean, I get a kick out of Springsteen up in Broadway. Hey, you're not going to hear me. I don't care what you spend for a ticket until you have a shot card. I mean, we all have to adjust certain ways. Whether we like it or not, Sure. we have to adjust. I mean, it's tough to buy a six or $800 Springsteen ticket and tell you, sir, you can't get in, you don't have a shot card. Right. So we all have to adjust. And exactly. you're obviously doing that. Okay, yeah. that sounds great. Well, I think the Arts Council, uh, the times I've been fortunate to see events, whether it's art shows or readings or whatever, it's just a wonderful, low-key opportunity. It's, it's Queen Anne's County, like you buying the house over here. It's Eastern Shore, it's low-key, but it gives you what we find in New York or the Kennedy Center or whatever, again, in that low-key type of thing. I mean, the current artwork is beautiful, and uh, I can't wait to go to one of your readings. I, I've never been to one of those. That sounds like fun. They're, uh, yeah, they're pretty extraordinary. You know, the, the, the great thing is about, you know, the Center for the Arts and a lot of the organizations in town and around town is um, when I moved here, um, people, they, a couple people said, oh, you know, don't be surprised if, you know, you know, it takes a while to get to know people and mm -hmm. people let you in. This town was incredibly, fr just so friendly. It's a warm you know? town. It's a warm I love town. this place. Yeah. It's great. The people are absolutely awesome. Well, that's why I'm hoping tonight the town is having its first, first Friday. I'll be there. Good. Well, look, we have a table set up. I'll show you a picture after the show. Uh, free advice from old, old coots. We have a bunch of old guys and women sit around and people come up and ask us for advice, which normally is wrong, <laughs> but we have fun. <laughs> right, we right. drink coffee and have them. Please stop. We'll be right by the <laughs> creamery so stop by okay and we'll give you some bad advice all right Good. okay bad advice is always the best advice. now we've got about right. just a couple of minutes left i always ask this to all my guests if you if you had a magic ball and you had a wand here where do you see where would you like to see our council going over the next year or five is there a plan where you want to be the next couple of years yeah we actually have a new annex building oh it's where's in the that back. It's, not, it's in the back it's new to us oh, okay. it's an old building okay but we're going to do a total refurb on oh, it wow. and you know we'll be having additional gallery oh, openings so there'll be a whole other facility you can put stuff into yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. Is that the, so that's the big thing for the Arts Council? That's the big that's thing for the Arts Council. Well, that'd be good. So I'll give you two facilities, really. You, you have two events going on at once, right? Which right. would be kind of good. Okay. Right. But it actually turns it into kind of a campus, a small campus. Yes, that would be great. Cool, which is awesome. And yeah. we need that. I, look, yeah. I love Queen Anne's County, but I think uh, i got to be really, in my opinion, I mean, I'm right, we're not behind in the arts fields. I just don't think we tell people enough. It's like George, man runs a TV station. He's also an excellent musician. He we is. don't brag about that enough. Right. We've got a lot right. of local talent. I don't care what the art form is, uh, whether it's writing poetry, playing a guitar, or singing, or whatever it might be. We just have to push it out front. Because we, we suffer from, I think, you tell me, 
Oh, we're the Eastern Shore. We're not the big leagues. Yes, we are. There's much talent over here. We, it, it's surprising how many writers, musicians mm -hmm, of, mm -hmm. of a really, truly professional yeah. status live over here. Oh, yeah. It's I, beautiful over here. Well, well, last thing for me, I'll be quiet to this. I used to, I used to teach science years ago, and Mary Wood, I don't know whether you that name now, she was a local poet. She's deceased now, I believe. Uh, she used to come into my, I, mean, I didn't know, met her in Acme one day. She right. says, Fred, I write poetry. Let's go to a poet and science class. Yeah, come on. This was 70s or 80s. Yeah, All of a sudden, yeah. I have this locally published poet reading to kids who were, you know, you know how kids are with poetry, until they settle into it. Is, sure. Not sure. All of a sudden, she's doing these wonderful poems that had to be the stars, the whales, the oceans. And right. it just, and this is a local talent. As good as Joan Baez in California or anything. Like sure, that written sure. All right, well, let's do this. Again, I'm, we're running out of time. Queen Anne's County Arts Council, $25 a year. I've got that correct to become a member. First child. Yeah. Oh, oh, the first it's child. It's surprising. Oh, you, know, you have to. Oh, you have to. Knock on the door. Where's the kid? Oh, you have to right. clean up after Fred and Phil when they, they dump the tea <laughs> in the floor. Okay. Right. Uh, currently, there's a teacher's, Queen Anne's County Teacher's Art Show coming right. in. Sure. Absolutely free. Yep. Just walk in between 11 and 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, and people can go to it. And, right. and, and again, we have a, another art show. So th events are beginning to happen. Yeah. You'd love yeah. for people to join, love for people to look at your website right. and call if they have questions, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, over the past year, we still have, we've had our dance classes. Okay. We've had workshops. Well, I see the signs classes. talking about yeah, events. So yes. We've, we've been definitely, you know, pushing it out there. Okay. You know. Now, uh, last yeah, question. Been, you know. uh, contributions? Uh, do you solicit them? Are you interested in them or no? no. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Is yeah. There, go to the website. If someone says, you know what? I think Arts Council needs $1,000. I gave 1000 to Churchill Theater or I gave it to uh, something. You encourage that type of thing? Absolutely. Okay, good. and uh, yeah. again, go to the website or call you at the Arts Council. Thanks to check out to me. Okay, all right. There's nothing wrong with it. Or George <laughs> Harvey or, or me. George we don't Harvey. care. All right. Well, look, right. thanks a million for being on with us. My right. pleasure. Always. And I'd like to thank you all as an, a retired educator for what you and Mike did with the art teacher's work. I thought, you know, I hope what you would do next is the musical teachers, which if there's 7,000 teachers, I'm gonna guarantee there's a couple hundred need to play guitar or vocalist. Get them to put on a show one night. That's an awesome I, idea. Well, I think, uh, you, you know, you're limited in size, but if you did that a couple Saturdays, you're gonna pack the house. You throw in wine and cheese, and you MC it, we got this made, right? I think that's you, a great idea. Would you get on mic? Tell them I hate the Giants, I hate the Jets, I like the Yankees, but let's get those people up there singing, all right? How about those Ravens? Okay. Well, look, Rick, thank you for being with us, My all right? Pleasure. Good luck in the next season. We're all hoping, like Mr. Willis, who's warmed that seat before you came in, a year from now we can look at each other and say, Fred, I got so many events going on, don't worry about a thing. And I think that will happen with the Arts Council, okay? I think it will too. And okay. thank you, I'm so thank you for coming on. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're gonna see you next time.